So frequently in the comment section, I'm asked, hey, Ryan, can you show us how to hit a swinging topspin volley out of the air? And here it is. I'm happy to give you a few tips to help you out. I will warn you, though, this is a pretty risky shot. And oftentimes, the safer, you know, high volley or an overhead will actually be in your best interest. But you asked for it and you wanted to know how to hit a high swinging volley out of the air. So let's do it. The first idea is you're going to use a semi open stance. This simply means that your left foot is on the left and your right foot is on the right. You're going to use a semi open stance because you're going to be playing this ball around head level. So when you play a ball around head level, it really requires that you're turning your hips and a semi open stance makes it very easy to turn the hips. So you don't want to be, you know, for instance, hitting this shot in a closed stance. It just won't go well. So semi open stance is the shot that you want to use or the stance that you want to use with the shot. Second is we want to stand far away from this ball. This is going to help you with the high ground strokes as well. A big mistake players make when they're playing the ball around head level is they stand too close to the ball. And the reason players make this mistake is they forget that the arm is a radius, right? Your arm is a radius, which means as your racket rises, it also gets farther away from you which means when you're playing the ball head level, you actually have to stand farther away from the ball than on any other stroke. So when you are playing the ball at head level, and by the way, this is gonna help you when you're behind the baseline, dealing with high ground strokes, you have to stand very far away from that ball. Otherwise, you get jammed. Down here, you can be close to a ball, but as you lift your arm, if you get too close, right, or you, you get jammed. So you have to stand farther away from the ball when you play the ball at head level. And last, I want you to resist the urge to follow through down by your left hip, or I guess if you're left-handed, by your right hip. Instead of following through down, I just want you to hit topspin and just follow through over the shoulder. Bringing the ball down isn't something that you need to worry about. Gravity, topspin, and incidence equaling reflection is going to bring that ball down into the court. So don't try to pull it down. You'll just end up burying the ball into the net. All right, so watch me hit these swinging volleys, topspin swinging volleys out of the air. I'm gonna use an open stance. I'm gonna stand far away from the ball and I'm gonna follow through and catch over my shoulder. Now, if you're looking for someone new in your local area to use this swinging topspin volley against, then use my link in the description, playercourt.com slash two minute tennis, and find people in your local area to compete against, practice with, and even find a coach who can help you to use this shot. Just use my link and get 50% off when you join. The three tips to hit a better topspin, like swinging volley, dry volley, open stance, semi-open stance, stand far away from the ball and follow through over the shoulder. Don't bring it down, but swing up and embrace the topspin. You work and apply on these three tips, there's no doubt. You're gonna gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2 You got this.